The answer choices to this question have a lot going on, right? Lots of commas, lots of words. The words aren't changing, but there's lots of commas kind of coming and going. We have the, the colon in B. So there's a lot of things that just make this scary. But basically, when we have all these punctuation things going on, we're, we know it's about sentence structure, right? Especially the colon, because that's such a definitive end of a sentence kind of punctuation mark. So we have to think about sentence structure as we're going. So let's take a look. Uh, the first sentence doesn't matter, but on March 23rd, 2021, a gust of wind wreaked havoc on global trade. Ever given, an international shipping container vessel became lodged in Egypt's Suez Canal, a major shipping route uh, between Europe and Asia. Oh, see, this is why I got to read ahead, because I didn't need that, and I was reading it like it mattered. The vessel took six days to dislodge, in part due, it to, due to its sheer size. It's as heavy as 2,000 blue whales when fully loaded. That's the only part that matters, right? So there we go. Get rid of all this. Don't care. Okay, start with the vessel. So um, because the colon is in choice B, that's kind of my first move. In order to use a colon, we need to have a sentence before it. We have some flexibility with what comes after. We could have another sentence. We could have a list. We could have just one word. So we have a lot of flexibility. But in order to use one, I would need to test, Does do I at least have a sentence beforehand? So let's just read up to that part. The vessel took six days to dislodge, in part due to its sheer size. Yeah, well, the, 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 the last part there is maybe extra, but the first part seems like a sentence. The vessel took six days to dislodge. Right? We have a subject, the vessel. It took, that's a verb, and then six days to dislodge is just kind of like the predicate. So that seems okay. Check. Now, the other part of this would be, if we do use a colon, are we interrupting a sentence? Like I can see here with this this clause, we're maybe interrupting what we're saying. And, and so the question is, are we coming back to it as, a, as another part of the sentence? Is there something else that, that forces us to have maybe use another comma instead of a, the kind of f final punctuation mark of a colon, right? A colon is almost like a period, right? It's kind of ending that first thought. We can't return to it. We have to kind of move on in some way. So let's see what the, the part after says. It's as heavy as 2,000 blue whales when fully loaded. Oh, okay, now my decision is made. That's another sentence. It's as heavy as 2,000 blue whales, right? We have a subject, it's as heavy as 2,000, or it is is actually the, the subject and the verb. It and is is in that same word there, right there. So that's uh, its own sentence. It could stand alone, it could have a capital I and a period at the end, and so because of that, we need a strong punctuation mark like a colon. We could use a semicolon, we could use a dash maybe, we could use a period, but we don't have those options. In fact, all the others are using commas in some weird way to connect these ideas. That's not strong enough. We would need a comma and a conjunction, a word like and, but we don't have that option. All the words are the same. So that forces us to pick B. And the reason I think this is a hard question is that most of you just don't use colons. So you're just afraid of them. But this is why grammar is so fixable and an easy way to add points to your score. Learn the rules, learn the ways to use the different punctuation marks, and suddenly you're not going to be scared of something that you would not per do in your own writing. You're just like, okay, well, there's a rule here. I need, there's two sentences. I need to use a hard stop of a, of a strong punctuation mark to do that. Only one is available to me. I guess I'm going with the colon. That's how I think of it. I'm not thinking more deeply about whether I would have used a colon here. It's, I'm not writing the sentence. I'm just editing it to make sure it's perfect.